So it's the second day of the second workshop and we've just had a casualty. I think I tried vertical and I did. Oh, oh yeah. No. What just fell? Camera? My camera. Yeah. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I'm just glad you didn't go after anything. You weren't gonna grab that thing. Oh no. Oh god. Do you have a backup yeah. body? One of the participants, Mark had his A7R4 and 24 to 70 fall off the cliff there in the background. So none of us are super excited about Manfrotto uh, quick release plates right now. It just like released, went off the cliff, very sad. So he's currently using my camera and he's photographing Trela Nipa, the beautiful, the beautiful cliffs here. The, this is the, the flying lake location. It's so cool out here. We have really nice conditions today, it's kind of partly cloudy. The beard is about 45 degrees, so it's a decent wind today, uh, but super, super beautiful. Haven't got rained on yet today. Yesterday we had uh, three, four different shooting locations. We got rained out at each of them, but we also got some really nice images from those shoots. So, so far it's been very fruitful and so beautiful as it always is here in the Faroe Islands.
absolutely. Mm. What you what you eating there? You see, the interior of this is some type of nougaty banana flavor, and the exterior is about a seventy-two percent cacao, dark chocolate. Ooh. Really fantastic stuff. Cold's the way to go. Absolutely. So it's day three, I think, of the second workshop. We are on the island of Kalsoy, and we're about to hike out to the northernmost point of Kalsoy where you get that really cool view with the lighthouse and stuff. It's a muddy, sloppy mess of a trail. It's been raining really hard the last few days. It's well above freezing, so none of it's gonna be frozen. It's gonna be a mess. So I figured, good thing to record. Let's see if I can not drop my camera in the mud. So we had cow soy. It's at literally the end of the world. We're going all the way up that mountain. <sighs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's always good. Casa is usually very, very beautiful, especially like at this type of year. We're crossing our fingers is that the sun will come out and we can get like a nice backlit scene. You can't get that at the other times of year, obviously. Um, so yeah, brought the long lens. My bag is heavy, but you know, it'll be fine. Yeah. Young and feisty and... Just look how beautiful this background is. Like, can you imagine just living in this little village? Like, this is such a beautiful place to live. Yeah. It's awesome. super boring. <laughs> super, super boring. <laughs> no. There's not a McDonald's on the whole island, bro. <laughs> no, not even a not restaurant. not a restaurant on the whole <laughs> island. But uh, I kind of want to go, like, you know, up, up there. That view up there. Yeah. That must be beautiful. We're not going all the way up there. We're going around it to the other side. Yeah. This is always a beautiful place to go. It's a little bit of work to get to, but it's always so worth it. So we've made it out to the tip of Kalsoy and holy cow, the weather, the light is gorgeous. We have sheets of rain falling with golden light over here. Beautiful light back in the fjord, back in the distance. And I had mentioned earlier in the video that one of the participants dropped their camera. Well, he's currently shooting with my camera. So uh, whose camera you got there? <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> it's pretty nice, it looks kind of similar. The one yeah, that I, I used to own. That's the same as yours. <laughs> Normally not a big deal, but the light is really awesome right now and it hurts and hurts right here. I should have here. brought my A7C. You should have. At, at least you've got 24 megapixels. I could do photography with this camera, which is my A7S III, which is only 12 megapixels and has a 20 millimeter prime on it. <laughs> it's not going to cut it for that stuff out there. It's awesome. So I think I'm going to force them to share cameras here because that is gorgeous. What a beautiful place.
So once again, we are out at Kalsoy, and it is so beautiful out right now. We have these beautiful warm clouds streaming in, a little bit of light playing on the cliffs back in the background. It is absolutely gorgeous. So typically the scene that you see from here is kind of this big wide, wide angle pano, including these big cliffs here behind me. But what I'm doing currently, because the light is so beautiful in that direction, is shooting with a 100 to 400 way out on those distant sea stacks. So in this composition, I'm zoomed all the way out to 400 millimeters. And what I'm doing is I'm actually taking one image at ISO 100, and that's going to be the basis for the majority of the frame. I'm exposing it to the right, two second timer, getting a nice sharp shot of those distant cliffs. But then what I'm also doing is speeding up my shutter speed and then getting a fast shutter speed image with some of the birds that are flying through here. There's lots of gulls flying all throughout the scene and I'm trying to freeze one kind of in a, in a strategically nice place within the composition and then I'll blend that in later. And it looks like this. Shooting mass, Peter Iverson. That, that right there. <laughs> it's just you know clouds, some low sea mists, three layers of mountains, waterfalls, rainbows, unicorns, seagulls. The huge. The huge. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Orange light, orange and teal. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. Probably, like on paper. <laughs> This is probably the, the best conditions I've shot in this direction here, on paper. But you never know how it turns out. Yeah. Like, we're not very good post-processors, me and Nick, so... <laughs> you know. So we're still out on Kalsoy, and now we're over on the other cliff, looking back towards where we were standing before. We've got Mass, one of the other participants, uh, starting to cross that sketchy trail, and as they walk across, we're getting the shot. Of course, Mass is doing his, you know, epic pose. He's got the proper leg spread, looking, <laughs> looking pretty good. If anybody can pose in a photo like this, it's Mass Peter Iverson, but 
So it just it just looks so good because you know as opposed to the photos that we're getting on the other side where we're shooting telephoto towards those towards those cascading cliff sides and the one with the waterfall. Now it's kind of got this beautiful framing below it with that trail and that cliff side. So it's just kind of something different. Beautiful pastel light. Looks so cool. Uh, currently shooting this at 105 millimeters rather than zooming way out. And it looks like this. So today is our final day in the Faroe Islands. It's been a long trip, but it's been so beautiful. This morning is no exception. Today we're in Tjonavik. Tjonavik, I think I'm saying that right? Spelled like this. And we're photographing these beautiful rolling waves. We have that big cliff with the sea stacks in the background. It serves for a really cool background for these beautiful curling waves that have this beautiful aqua color in it. So much fun to shoot such a beautiful way to end the trip. This is a morning shoot. We're gonna shoot a couple other things throughout the day, but so cool, so much fun. Trying to freeze the waves as they fall into the sea. So it is the last shoot of the trip, last shoot of the second workshop. And it's kind of fitting that we're ending in the place that the previous video kind of focused on. Only this time we're going down to the beautiful waterfalls that are kind of going down this valley. And we have this golden light streaming through. It's backlighting the water. It's so beautiful. What a way to end this trip. The Faroe Islands, are pretty damn awesome. When you're teaching workshops, the people that attend the workshops kind of make or break the whole thing for you as an instructor. And we've been so lucky with such incredible attendees. It's been just an awesome two weeks. I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I'm ready to go home, but what a way, what a way to finish the trip. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and all that stuff. And we'll see you next time. Take it easy, everybody.